battling New York for the first time ever. And that deep shot was rejected. Bob Lewis. Wes Groth winding up, and Lewis gets a piece of it. There was an open man going deep, but Lewis's D gives Austin another break chance. Groth goes flying by. Seoul have gotten off to a lot of good starts this season, Megan. Wide open man deep is Connor DeLuna, and that was a dime of a flick huck, and it's 2 nothing Seoul. Two minutes into the game, wow. How about that put from Heath? Swing for Slayton. Another one of the super young members of this Austin team. It's Broadbeck going deep. Broadbeck is there. San Diego might need a timeout. Growler's looking for answers. It's Petty John shooting it to the end zone, and that will work. Helton, crossfield scuba. Flew about 25 yards, and there's a huge D by Reese Bowman, sneaking in for the poach block. Walter lets a rip up the line, shy of the end zone, but right on target for Broadbeck, and he will flick it to the end zone, and the soul now up by five. Sefton squeezes it through, and Swiatek gets it around the leaping Milardovic, but not past Jeff Silverman, who has made 92 career blocks now. And Milardovic lets it fly. It's floating. It's a San Diego score. Milardovic. The deep shot to Reggie Sung, and San Diego's cooking now. Contact there, no whistle. Petty John turning and creating the contact with Broadback. Now here's Dunn, and he had Walter beat. Walter was kind of poaching inward. It is always crafting paths to the end zone. And defenders think that they've taken away four lanes. Balsarai shooting it deep. Shane Heath is wide open, breaking away from Will Turner. Low laser that Jesse Cohen, if he had been more aware, might have had a hand to reach out and grab. There's an easy interception. Milardovic having as good a half as anybody in a white jersey. Jesse Cohen sending Travis Dunn. Travis Dunn in the end zone for San Diego. Just over a minute to play in the half. The Soul gave up back-to-back -back breaks. A 3-0 run from San Diego has made this field a whole lot closer. Deep shot going up, Swiatek. Evan Swiatek hauls in the beauty. What a shot from Paul Starkle. That was majestic. Great wind up from Starkle. Switek barely has to work for this goal. That throw was highlight real worthy. You're right. I mean, those are good defenders chasing. Now an important sequence here. And that's not going to go well. Great anticipation to rip that one away. Joey Wiley, the block, shooting this one to the end zone. Oh, what a my catch! Gosh. Connor DeLuna with 13 seconds left in the half has one for the highlight reel. If the throw was perfect before the Souls O line ever took the field. Evan Leppler, Megan Tormey with you from Austin, Texas. Lior Gaval ripping it deep. Jesse Cohen is there. Third goal of the night for Cohen, and a strong, decisive start to the half for the Growlers. Lior Gaval definitely showing off his repertoire by throwing a couple of goals, and beautiful puts at that.
Here's Michael Tran for San Diego. Shooting it up the line, Jeff Silverman turns on the Jets, lays out for the score. Growlers back within two on Silverman's first goal of the night. Shackner open for the continue. And then he throws it to Valseraj's wow. area. Vinay Valseraj. And there's another mistake. Valseraj overshooting his target up the line. The San Diego Growlers, after being down 4 0, have a chance to take their very first lead right here. Deep shot from Reggie Sung. It's Wes Groth, and that's another beauty for the visiting Growlers. Groth, who scored the game winner against Austin last week, gives San Diego the lead again tonight in the third. The Growlers have opened up their long game. But they did not cover the spread as one sage prognosticator suggested they would not. Deep shot from Starkle. Oh, and that one's caught. It might have been deflected, but it was caught anyway by Wiley. Leggio looking to break the mark. Goes back to the open side. Givals had the hot hand. Open man deep is Travis Dunn, and Gival has been flawless with his chucks tonight. Sames, velocity on that flick, and now it's Hayden Stone sending it deep. Broadbeck pressured. Broadbeck on the second <laughs> effort, oh. makes the catch. Goodness, the soul crowd erupting in joy after this remarkable play. Throw float a little bit more than Stone wanted, giving Tran a chance. San Diego in no particular hurry. Turner takes the shot. Shackner is there. And Valsaraj with a big bid. But Shackner spikes the disc. And Valsaraj takes exception. It's a three goal lead for San Diego, their largest lead of the night. There are games that really can go either way, even in the middle of them. And there's a hand wow. block. Yikes, that one just barely stayed up. Austin thought it was down. Of course, the fans did too. Oh, oh my gosh. Okita does it again. Made a bunch of those grabs tonight, Travis Dunn. Turned away from his throw while it was still <laughs> in the air. <laughs> Steph Curry would be proud. <laughs> Petty John's got the score, and the Growlers have the four-goal lead with under four minutes to play. San Diego exhibiting. If they beat San Jose in week nine and beat the Dallas Roughnecks at home in week ten, as we see a near Callahan, but there may have been a foul. Officials are going to converse. Seoul, bottom line, still control their destiny. If they beat San Jose and beat Dallas, they will very likely be in the playoffs, again, unless Seattle or San Jose wins the rest of their games. And that looked like great defense yeah. from Stone. First games in the Canadian Cup Series transpired this weekend as Austin fires up a prayer, and that'll be another block for Will Turner. Uh, congratulations to the Ottawa Outlaws. They beat Toronto for the first time in their franchise history behind an insane 888 throwing yards from Nick Boucher. Over 1,200 yards total for the Outlaws. Handler and receiver who had 11 assists in the win over Toronto. Final score tonight from Austin. The San Diego Growlers storm back and win it 21-17. And Travis Dunn will be our DC Events player of the game.